All right, we're here with Valium Player, and we're going to speak with uh, Coach Whitlinger from Furman Men's Tennis. And I've known him a little bit. He's come up to the hospital. He's one of the guys that comes up to the hospital with the team and I think really enjoys the visits. We do. Yeah, we do. They're, they're a blast. My guys love them. Good. Well, so just a little background. This guy is like tennis royalty. His father was a top-notch tennis player. They played together as a father-son team, highly ranked in the United States. He's he doesn't like to brag about or talk about, but I did the research, and they were number three in the country at one time. So that's pretty impressive. So uh, one of the things we talked about is uh, going through that journey as an athlete, and one of the things I saw that was really interesting to me was that you were elected captain of your team. Yeah, and you were also the Male Athlete of the Year in high school. I was. So you were kind of the big guy on campus. Uh, yeah, in my own mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in my own mind. Um, it was, you know, growing up, that was, it was my identity. And I was a, I was just uh, the athlete. I was one of the best athletes uh, at, at school around. And um, I actually worked really, really hard uh, to always be on the honor roll and always get straight A's because I wanted like a kind of different dimension of, of, of how people saw me. My dad, you know, always said, you know, you do what's best for the team always. And uh, it pretty much in everything you do, that's the, that's the first thing that comes through my mind is, is well, and, and, and now I transfer that kind of as a, as a coach here. What can I do? Always putting the, the team first. So I think the most important thing is you're trying to build a strong team and, and culture is finding players um, and people is, you know, if they're players secondary, they're people first, right? Sure. Finding them, uh, the people that are really going to fit into what I want our team to uh, evolve into, you know, continually. Yeah. And that's really the most important because when, when you have the right culture, it, it, it feeds itself. It's self-sustaining. Like I'm looking for, for well-rounded guys that, that always put their, their best foot forward in anything they do. You're trying to bring them to places like Valiant Player, um, to sh give them perspective, give them perspective on how lucky they really are, whether that's academics, which obviously is really, really important, especially at Furman, um, whether that's tennis, uh, athletics, and whether that's kind of w w when you go and you do stuff and visit kids like a Valiant player, like with Valiant player, I think making sure you can either go through the motions or you can really enjoy the time, enjoy the process of all, all those things. And, and when they, they do that, Good things happen. Yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah, I, I, so you have to adapt to each player and how they're motivated and how to coach them and everything. How does how does that process go for you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing is finding out what makes you know each individual player tick. Whether it's um, you know being coached hard, being coached a little more gently, um, results driven, progression driven. I think. Players are all different, and, and finding out a, a way to, to do that is, is integral to being for, for them being successful and and being um, putting them in the right mindset to, to go compete. First off, the one thing I tell the kids when I recruit them, and I'll tell them the guys over and over while they're here, is my biggest thing. The weight I carry on my shoulders every day when I get out of bed is I want them to feel like on a daily basis. This is the best decision they ever made. The, the type of uh, relationship I want to have with the guys is that even when they move on, that they always feel like they can talk to me. I always have time for them. Sure. Um, whether it's sharing great news or if they need um, you know, help with something. Yeah. Um, you know, when you're done or you're doing the visits, what are you taking away and what do you think the guys take away from? Oh, I think, you know, we kind of prefaced it earlier. I think uh, anytime you can make a child uh, smile, you know, when they, they might be going through a, a tough time, I think that's, there's nothing better than that. You know, we, in the past, I've talked about people, when I used to coach young kids, just w when, when they kind of figure out something on the tennis court, do you see that big beaming smile and it's like, oh man, that just kind of comes over you. Um, but this is even a step above that, right? If we have uh, some of those, some of those kids who just need a need a smile, need to pick me up, and, and I think that uh, 
the guys being able to, to do that for them is is something that is invaluable and something that is is really important to their growth as a person. Donating their time, seeing that when you give time to others, it 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 helps you become a better person. It will actually in turn make you happier as well. And the one time I don't know if it was the last time we came or the first time we came, there was a, a child um, who had something like 150 surgeries. I don't. Do you remember that? Well, I think do you I remember him? Right. Yeah, we well, have a few of those. But yeah, yeah, and but, uh, yeah. apparently he hadn't smiled or wanted to talk to anybody that had come through and three of my guys had gone in there and were making him laugh and smile and the mom was just effusive in the praise and just being able to do that i mean those are the type of guys we want all of our guys to be able to kind of do that sort of stuff and that that sort of stuff brings me joy as a coach to you get a little emotional a little bit well, as we, as we kind of wrap up, uh, any words of encouragement for the kids up at the hospital? We'll be back, you know, hopefully in about a month. Yeah. So we'll get you guys up there. Great. But, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to that. I think, you know, for for me, it's, you know, everything always gets better. Keep, you know, grinding through anything that, that you're dealing with. And hopefully, you know, me and uh, and my players will be there to, to cheer you up and say hi. And if you want my autograph, I'm happy to give it. Um or the, the boys on the, on the team and, and um, you know, hang in there and, and uh, we'll be there to see you guys soon. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I mean, uh, thank you for everything. Thank yeah, you yeah, for yeah. letting us talk with you today, but uh, mostly thank you for being the guy you are and the coach you are. And, uh, no, I really appreciate yeah, it. I really do. And, and raising these young men up, uh, Coach J.J. Whitlinger, uh, great coach, better person. Thank you so much. All right. Appreciate it.